Hello everyone, in today's tutorial we're going to learn how to use a scrolling frame with a UI list layout in Roblox. Let's get started by going to our started GUI. We're going to add a screen GUI and now go to your screen GUI. We're going to add a scrolling frame. So search for scrolling frame and select it and then you can move it to the middle somewhere here so it's easier to see but ideally in your game you probably want to put it in one side maybe it's up to you for now I'm just gonna put it in the middle here and you can resize it now select the scrolling frame click on the plus sign we're gonna add some image labels so there's one I'm just gonna duplicate this a couple of times, maybe one, two, three. So now I have four labels, same as our last tutorial. The next thing we wanna do is we wanna go to the toolbox and add some images to those image labels. So just search for images and I'll just pick some, copy asset ID, come back here and I'm gonna search for the image property and just paste it in let's go to the next one copy asset ID and come back here and paste it in all right um, the, the reason you don't see them because they're, they're on top of each other there they are we're gonna go to the third one and the last one alright so now I have four images let me close this same as we we done in the previous tutorial, we're gonna duplicate this to make more images for testing. All right, so now we should have eight images all together. Oh, where are they? Let me, let me try it again. Let me select these images. And I thought I did a control D to duplicate, but apparently it didn't work. All right, so now we should have eight images all together. Alright, so here I have a scrolling frame and you can see I can move it up and down. Let, let me um, move these images a little bit so, so that, you know, we can use the, the scroll better. Alright, so now if I go to my scrolling frame here and you can see I can move up and down, you can see the, the photos. If you like your photos like that, you can just leave it the way it is, and that, that's the way it works. Otherwise, if you want to organize them, you can add, you can go to your scrolling frame and you can add a UI list layout. UI list layout. As soon as you add the UI list layout into your scrolling frame, you can see everything is organized now. Now let's go to the properties of our UI list. A lot of the properties are the same as the uh, UI grid layout. So if you like, you can refer to our prior lesson on UI grid layout. Um, here I'm just gonna add in some offset padding for the padding. So now the labels are spread further apart. Next, let's go down to the bottom here and we're gonna change the vertical alignment so instead of the top, uh, no, actually I want to change the horizontal alignment. So instead of the left alignment, I want to align it at the center. And now let's go to the scrolling frame. I'm just going to show you a couple properties from the scrolling frame. So I'm going to resize this window to make it a little bit bigger, right? So now we can see more photos on each frame. 
Now, if we go to the properties of the scrolling frame, let's go all the way to the bottom. At the bottom, there's a property called vertical scroll bar position. So right now it's on the right. If you like to have it on the left, you can move it to the left. So now your scroll bar is on the left side as opposed to the right. Another property that you may be interested in changing is uh, these images of the scroll bar itself. So right now you have the bottom image here. If you like, you can change it to something else. So let's go to our toolbox and see what else they have. So I'm going to search for images and I'm going to enter scroll bar here. Alright, so these are the different images that we can use for the scroll bar. Um, why don't I just pick these? So, so this one, I'm going to use this one for the top. I'm going to right click, copy asset ID, come back here. Oh, I have a bottom image here first. So let, let me copy this one for the bottom. Copy asset ID, come back here. We're going to paste that in. So that's going to be my bottom image you, you can see it's right here it's the low black thing right here that I've just added so that's the bottom and now we're gonna look for the mid image um, mid image which one should we use maybe this one right here so copy asset ID and come back over here we're gonna click on the mid image paste it in all right that doesn't look like uh, the, the photo. The photo has like gold, but this one is all black. I don't know. That's kind of strange. Scroll bar image color. Oh, maybe let me change the scroll bar image color to... Um, let me see what happened if we do this. Oh, maybe that looks better. Okay. And um, let's change the top scroll bar image okay so top top image is here so we're going to use this one copy asset id come back to this side paste it in and there it is so now our scroll bar looks a lot different than before let me now just move the scrolling frame to the side over here maybe i'll make it a little smaller and I'm going to change the background. Let me see which color is good. That, that looks nice. Click OK. Alright, let me publish to Roblox. And then we're going to play and take a look. We're in the game and we have the scrolling frame here that we can take a look at all the different photos in it as we play the game. And you can put all kinds of things in here, all kinds of labels in here. You don't need to just put photo image labels. It can be any kind of label. So we'll learn more about different types of labels that we can put in here in our next couple of lessons. All right, everyone, that's how you use scrolling frame with the UI list layout in Roblox.